Imagine a universe where distant planets aren't merely barren rocks floating through the darkness, but thriving worlds that shimmer under artificial lights. Now imagine that this idea is no longer fantasy. Thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, humanity's most advanced eye in the cosmos, we may have just glimpsed something that changes everything. Something glowing faintly in the blackness. Not a natural glow like a star or a burning nebula. No, this was something different, steady, unnatural, and perhaps intelligently designed. From 4.2 light years away, nestled within the Proxima Centauri system, a planet known as Proxima b has been quietly orbiting its red dwarf star. Until recently, it was simply one of many exoplanets categorized by scientists as potentially habitable, but then came a signal. A glimmer. A persistent light where there shouldn't be one. The data stunned astronomers. Observed during the planet's night phase, Proxima b appeared to emit a consistent brightness unlike anything found in nature. It wasn't the flicker of a dying star. It didn't resemble the cold glint of a reflecting moon or the brief flare of volcanic activity. This was something new. Some researchers likened it to the radiant glow of a city skyline seen from orbit, like Earth's cities captured by satellites at night. The implications? Profound. If confirmed, this glow could represent the first direct evidence of artificial light from an alien civilization. Think about that. A world, completely separate from ours, producing artificial illumination. What kind of beings built it? What does their society look like? Are they even alive in the way we understand life? Proxima b orbits a red dwarf, a type of star known for its volatility. It's not the friendliest sun. Flares erupt often, bombarding the planet with radiation. But despite this, the planet remains one of the most Earth-like candidates in our cosmic neighborhood. It has a rocky surface. It sits in the star's habitable zone, the delicate region where liquid water might exist. But now, this new anomaly, the glow, forces us to reevaluate what we thought we knew. Artificial light means intelligence. It means construction, power grids, infrastructure. Could this planet harbor an advanced society with technology rivaling or surpassing our own? The nature of the light rules out many natural explanations. It's not the infrared heat signature of a volcanic eruption. It's not the scattered light of an aurora caused by solar winds. This light doesn't pulse, doesn't vary, it's stable, unchanging. That stability is what makes it so unnerving. On Earth, our cities emit light predictably and continuously. When viewed from orbit, that glow forms intricate webs of civilization. Highways, street lamps, industrial centers, all radiating energy into space. If Proxima b is doing something similar, then someone must be there to build and maintain it. Now, consider the sheer difficulty of detecting light from that distance. The James Webb Space Telescope operates with astonishing sensitivity. Its instruments were designed to study the earliest galaxies, the atmospheres of distant exoplanets, and the thermal whispers of dying stars. That it could even register a glow from Proxima b is a testament to its engineering. But this also raises new questions. If we can see it, could they see us? Are they watching back? And if they are, what might they think of Earth's glow? Some scientists have proposed a theory known as technosignatures, observable indicators of alien technology. These might include radio waves, industrial pollutants in a planet's atmosphere, or, as we may now be seeing, artificial lighting. This discovery, if verified, would be the first technosignature ever captured beyond our solar system. It would validate decades of speculation and inspire a new era of exploration. The search for life would shift, from hoping to confirming. From dreams to dialogue. Skeptics argue caution. Could the glow be a reflection? A glitch? A misreading of data? Perhaps. Science demands rigorous analysis, replication, and peer review. Yet even among skeptics, there's an unusual buzz. The characteristics of the light simply don't match known cosmic behavior. And if the pattern repeats in future observations, it will become harder and harder to dismiss.
Now imagine this scenario. Proxima b, a planet once dismissed as just another rock among billions, now becomes the most important object in the sky. Scientists around the globe refocus their efforts. Telescopes pivot. Algorithms are rewritten. Every eye, lens, and dish turns toward that tiny dot in space, hoping to catch more data. A flicker. A pulse. A clue. And beyond the scientific community, the public stirs. News spreads. People begin asking the big questions again. What is life? What defines intelligence? What happens if we make contact? Religions, philosophies, and governments all scramble to prepare statements, contingencies, and protocols. Humanity, for the first time in history, stares across the stars and sees not silence but light. Even more curious are theories that suggest this light might not be random. Some speculate it could be deliberate. A message. A cosmic lighthouse signaling across the void. Or perhaps it's unintentional, just a side effect of their cities, their machines, their lives. Like Earth's glow, theirs may be a byproduct of existence, not communication. Yet it speaks volumes. What kind of beings would emit such light? Are they biological like us? Do they breathe, eat, dream? Or are they mechanical, AI-driven machines continuing long after their creators vanished? Could this be a post-organic society? One that has uploaded consciousness into artificial forms and continued evolving without biology? If so, their lights might shine forever, long after Earth's fade. There's also the haunting possibility that we're not seeing the present, but the past. Light takes time to travel. The glow we detect today left Proxima B over four years ago. If their civilization ended since then, we'd never know until years later. Are we looking at a ghost? The final light of a now dead world? Or is this just the beginning? For decades, we've searched the stars using radio telescopes, sending out messages into the dark. We've listened for patterns, hoping for a reply. But light, visible, unmistakable, and universally understood, may be the answer we've long awaited. It cuts through distance. It defies language. It says, simply, we are here. Governments are taking notice too. Space agencies and defense departments are quietly monitoring Webb's data. If Proxima B harbors life, the geopolitical implications are immense. Who gets to speak for Earth? Who initiates contact? Should we approach with caution or with open arms? The answers remain elusive. In the coming months, researchers will attempt to confirm and replicate the observations. Independent telescopes will scan Proxima B using different wavelengths. If multiple systems detect the same glow, the findings will become nearly irrefutable. And when that happens, we'll be faced with a choice, whether to watch silently or to respond. The search for extraterrestrial life has always seemed distant, locked behind fiction and theory. But now, with Webb's data and the mysterious glow from Proxima B, that distance has collapsed. We are no longer asking if we're alone. We are beginning to ask when we'll meet our cosmic neighbors. For now, the light continues to shine, silent, distant, persistent. A cosmic whisper in the dark. Whether it's a welcome, a warning, or a simple accident of alien life, one thing is certain. The universe just got a whole lot less lonely.